Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca. I'm a freelance writer and blogger at A Little Bit of Mom Sense. You may notice that I've been writing every month on the Terra 20 blog and sharing some of my own favorite products or experiences or a few tips and tricks on how to be a bit more eco-conscious when we're shopping. This month, we decided to talk about beauty products. Now, I am no beauty blogger, that's for sure, but it doesn't mean that I don't have some favorite products that I like to use. So I'm gonna share with you some of my daytime routines, my nighttime routines, and favorite products that I'm currently using. And yes, all of them come from Terra 20 because that's where I shop for my items. So first of all, no matter what, the first thing that I'm doing during the day or at night is moisturizer. The recent one that I'm using right now, because I do change it up every so often, I sometimes find ones that I don't love as well, that are a little bit thicker, and I, I want a product in a moisturizer that goes on smoothly and that I can wear makeup over top. So this one is an everyone face every day. And I'm liking it because both my husband and I use face cream. Uh, and this is one that we're both using and both liking and we both have different uh, needs on our face so dryness and I wear makeup and he's not and yet this is one that we both can use so I'm really liking that so let's talk about nighttime it's a little bit of a simple process for me sometimes I might do a mask or an extra wash but really at the end of the day I'm washing my face with a cloth and warm water I don't even use soap most of the time and then I'm often using a toner. So this is an Andalou. If you can see it, I got a little bit of a glare. This is an Andalou product. I use a lot of the Andalou products and I really like them. This is an illuminating toner. I like it. If nothing else, it's nice and refreshing before bed. So after I do the toner and it dries a bit, I then put on the face cream. And really that's my nighttime routine. Wash, toner, face cream. Big fan of face cream. So daytime, my daytime routine really depends on what my goals are that day. If I am sticking around the house or if I'm just getting some work done or off to a school event, chances are I'm just sticking with moisturizer in the morning, face cream in the morning. And then uh, one thing I probably always have on is eyeliner. So this here is an Anne-Marie Borland line. I picked up fairly recently, see that. It's in a um, violet black. I have green eyes and I tend to go towards pinks and purples a lot in my makeup. And certainly for my eyeliner, I find, I do have a black one, I find it a little bit harsh. So I like the violet, the plum tones whenever I'm picking an eyeliner, but I almost always have that on. In addition, even if I have nothing else on but eyeliner, I also am a huge fan of a colored lip gloss. So right now in my purse is a Burt's Bees. It's very lightly tinted, you'll see. <laughs> That's it. I love, love tinted lip gloss. That's kind of my jam. If I do nothing else, I have that, and I'm always carrying it in my purse. Um, I like it, certain ones, they can't be too sticky. I don't like sticky ones. This one has a nice glide. It smells like bubble gum, so my kids always think I'm chewing bubble gum. But I really, really like it. So those two, plus moisturizer, Every day, probably, every day. Simple, I know. All right, so then if I'm going out or if I have an event um, or if I'm just, usually if I'm going to meetings because this is when the kids are like, oh, where are you going today? Because it's a little bit more done up maybe. But on top of the moisturizer, because again, I'm still using that face cream, I like to use a tinted, either tinted moisturizer or a CC cream. So a few years ago, as I got older, I started to notice that a foundation was becoming too cakey. I just, I didn't like the look. It was clearly too much. Um, so I switched to a CC cream. The one I'm currently using is an Andalou again. Uh, it has a tint to it, but it does cover. So it has a fairly good coverage, but not too much. Um, and just enough that when I'm going out, it evens out the skin tone a little bit. But my freckles still show. It's still um, me really, uh, and not too much. But what I really like too is that it has an SPF 30. So if there's one thing I say when it comes to skincare that I tend to focus on, it's definitely SPF. So the CC cream has been really great, but then this summer I discovered um, a tinted face cream with an SPF, and this is the Think Sport. 
This became my everything this summer. I really, really like the way it goes on. It smooths on nicely. It's a very light tint, um, almost a no coverage tint, but the SPF was there uh, and it has a little bit of a, a glow to it. It has a really nice illuminating effect. So it wasn't matte, uh, which was really nice. And sometimes in the summer, because I was hot and stuff, I didn't want too much dewiness, so it wasn't too much, but just the right amount that I think it, it really looked nice. So when I want a lighter coverage, I tend to go for that one. And if I'm going to an evening event especially, I tend to, to go for the CC cream. So I apply that with just a sponge and it goes on, it smooths things out or covers things uh, where I want, but not too much. So I have discovered the joy of blush as a highlighter. So I put a bit of that on often. The one I have right now has a trio. Oops, you need my pot light. This is the one I picked up. Actually, I picked it up on sale, to be honest. What I really needed though, um, the one I'm using the most, and you can tell, is the middle, the pink, the light pink. That's really the one that I was looking for the most. So just a bit of a pink blush. I use a wide brush to put it on and sweep up. Blend, 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 lots of blending. And then again, for the evening, I don't typically wear this during the day. I have, um, it's a Sante, I love that's nail polish sitting on it. It's a Sante um, trio set in the purples, the pinks, it has the brown. I've even used the brown on the brow when I need to. And then if I'm going out uh, or want more emphasis on my eyes, I'm using an eyelash curler and the Pure Anata. This is my favorite, favorite natural mascara that I found. Uh, it goes on tight, like it's nice. It doesn't wipe off, you know, It. I don't find it easy to wipe off, um, but when I need to wash it off, it comes off no problem. Just warm water again at the end of the day. So that's kind of it. It gets more complicated depending on what I need and the coverage I need. When I'm doing photos or special events, then I definitely want something more. But my day-to-day -day is very much eyeliner, lip gloss, always, always with the moisturizer. And at the end of the day, same kind of deal. Moisturizer and a bit of toner. That's kind of my mom routine, my entrepreneur, my business routine. That's how I'm using the makeup. So it seems like a lot of products. I've tried out different ones. I definitely have favorites for certain things. Uh, and that's kind of one of the things we need to do is find what's best for us. Uh, but once I find it, I'm super loyal to it. So if you have any questions, let me know, send me a message. And uh, at the end of the day, keep the routine as simple as you need to, but find those favorites. My sister, for example, she'll wear nothing else, but she'll always have mascara on. Whereas I'm the eyeliner gal. Uh, and again, that colored lip gloss. So find those favorites and kind of play with those and, and those can be your staples and sometimes that's all it takes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks Tara20 for working with me to share this and we'll see you next time.